Hello, my captains, and welcome back from the weekend. Cloudy, private, and spiritual, especially the first half of the day. The moon is still in Sagittarius. We're coming off a light cast weekend. The new moon, the most powerful day of the month to manifest our intentions. And as you probably know from watching Soul Garden every day, <laughs> just kidding, Capricorns are weeding their soul gardens this month, getting to the bottom of those issues, those patterns in your life. How do I keep ending up with a cheater? How do I keep ending up in this situation where I'm not appreciated at work? How can I keep self-sabotaging myself as soon as I'm about to make it? I ruin it somehow. Those are weeds, and those weeds go back to childhood and beyond. If your belief structure believes in past lives, it doesn't really matter. Point is, it's in the subconscious, and it's tripping you up. Well, in the last 24 hours, we've had Uranus ruling the day. This morning, it is breakdown, breakthrough vibration, getting to the root of what that weed may be. Where did this start? When did I start acting this way? When did this behavior begin? It might even be just all in your mind, too. This might be your weed, might be your doubt, or your skepticism of life in general, or pessimism, or depression. Whatever it is, it has a root. It has some place that, where it started. And when you get to the root of the weed, you can pull it out and get on to the solution, which is what we're going to start talking about as of tomorrow. How are we going to plant flowers to replace these negative weeds? So today, breakdown, breakthrough, and getting clear. And as the day progresses, the moon does move into Capricorn. So by the second half of the day, Partly cloudy, but cool for the Capricorns. The moon will cross over Pluto. So somewhere I'm predicting your ego will be triggered today. Your ego might get mad or might get sad or might react in a way that doesn't serve you. Now, egos are here to serve us. They're here to protect and serve and also represent. But sometimes they protect us to a fault. So here is the day with the moon crossing Pluto. It'll be an invitation for you to detach from the emotion connected to the ego flare-up. So in other words, you might get really emotional and really sad about this weed, and then your ego gets really angry. Maybe you're emotionally attached to getting angry whenever you are hurt, and although it's justified and it's good, it doesn't necessarily serve you to go stomp it around the office the second half of the day, right? Once we get the, the, once we get the information from our emotion and our emotions communicate, hey, I've got a problem with this, we have to learn as human beings to go, let it go and let it flow. I got the message, cool. It won't happen again, purging and whatnot. For those of you who eat your emotions, well, that's how people get cancer and diseases like that. Now, it's Monday. We've got Julie Zipper's meditation vibration. And since you're working on a subconscious transit of weeding your soul garden this month, this is a great month to be watching Julie. She's going to help you through meditation to change your perception on reality, in your case, on your subconscious realities. It might not be the fact that you've been abused. It might be the fact that you're calling it abuse. It might be the way you look at it that will free you. And Julie's here to help you with that and guide you through the process. She's live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Captain, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, some good news about Saturn and your career. Until then, live, love, be. Soul.